homes and lives washed away in the worst flooding in Germany in living memory. This man from Rheinbach had to climb out of his window and onto his roof to survive. Here you can see how high the water was. All the furniture was floating around. Everything electric is ruined. In Öfstadt, several residents died when a sinkhole opened beneath the town, swallowing homes and farmland. The grim story was repeated across Western Germany, with torrential summer rain overwhelming the defences of more than 20 cities. Once the river started overflowing and the water came down from the hillside, it was a matter of two minutes before the yard was flooded waist high with water. We had to get out through the window and over the roof in order to save ourselves. A rising death toll has shocked the nation, with many hundreds still unaccounted for. It is therefore already clear today that our state is experiencing a flood disaster of historic dimensions. The German government has blamed a rapidly heating planet for the tragedy and pledged to do more to combat climate change. Only if we take up the fight against climate change decisively will we be able to keep extreme weather conditions such as these in check. As you know, the government has set itself many goals in this regard because we can't go into the future and keep experiencing events like this. It is the intensity and the length of these events um, where science, science tells us this is a clear indication um, of uh, climate change. Swathes of Western Europe received two months of rain in just two days. The floods also devastated parts of the Netherlands and Belgium. Our shop has been open for three years. We got through the renovations, we got through COVID. We were hoping to get back on our feet. And now this. In Brussels, the government has declared July 20 a national day of mourning. We're still awaiting the final figures, but it appears these floods are the most catastrophic our country has ever seen. There are fears some reservoirs and dams remain on the verge of collapse, and the search for survivors goes on. Meanwhile, thousands of soldiers and emergency workers have now joined a massive clean-up operation. The rain is forecast to ease this weekend. Linton Besser, ABC News.